Hey guys, and welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley. In today's video, I wanted to go over a bunch of small but important changes that Disney Dreamlight Valley is bringing to us in the next update. All these small adjustments we're going to go over will ultimately make gameplay way more enjoyable and user-friendly. So with that, let's get started. Update number three, we're finally getting the storage upgrade we desperately needed. The game confirmed that we'll be getting storage improvements like stacking and the ability to see the contents of the chest before opening it. It might seem like a small adjustment, but right now storage in our house, pockets, and the chests are very limited, and most people have resorted to creating storage rooms full of chests with items on stools to identify what's in them. This upgrade has the potential to save so much time for us collectors. The next improvement is for all of us decorators. We'll now be able to change out the original interior doors with the ones we've unlocked. Based off what the game released on socials, it seems that we'll also be able to move where we want the door to go on the wall. Their tweet says, open new interior doors in update three. Valley Villagers will be able to customize room doors and their placements in our next update. Again, this might seem minor to a new player, but once you collect tons of items and customize your house, these useless doors are so annoying. And the original green doors just don't fit with some people's designs, so this change will make our houses feel more personalized and put together. Next up is Kristoff's Stall. Kristoff's stall will be upgraded to allow more of one item to be sold. Right now, we're able to buy resources, but only a very limited number. I never really understood the item limits for this stall. Like, I get that they want to keep the game kind of challenging by not allowing players to buy a million of one thing at a time, but only 10? Come on. I also think the challenge of paying for the product is enough for the stall as well. Also, the game mentioned that Limitless Coal will be returning to the game, so we will always be able to cook those berry salads and pumpkin puffs. Finally, they just announced that we'll be getting craftable training manuals for our villagers to be able to change their roles in the valley once they've reached level 10. I know I'm not alone when I say I put almost zero thought into what I assigned my characters in the beginning of the game. And some of them I just couldn't think of what I needed in the moment, so I just picked weird roles for them. Like why would I assign Goofy to foraging when his whole thing is fishing? I'll be changing that straight away, so thank you developers for allowing us to perfect our valley roles. And that's all I have for today's video. If there's anything I missed or anything you want to see in the next update, let me know in the comments. And if you're as excited as I am for the third update, hit the like button and subscribe for more Disney Dreamlight Valley content. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.